Hi and welcome. Today we're going to take a quick look at our phone orders and manual orders plugin. It's a powerful tool that lets you easily place customer orders on your website. It's great for taking orders by phone or in person. For example, maybe you're at a conference or a trade show or some other event where you need to quickly take orders or maybe you're in your place of business or your office or at home taking orders by phone or maybe you have employees that take orders on by phone for you. Any of those scenarios and more are great use cases for this plugin. So let's take a look at how it works. Here on the screen you can see the order form that's created by this plugin. It has a nice neat layout that adheres to the styles of your site's theme. On this particular site we do have a somewhat vanilla black and white theme and it adheres to those styles quite nicely. And let's take a look at these form elements from the top down. Before I begin, let me tell you, access to this page can be controlled by you as administrator. You're allowed to set uh, which users and roles have the right to access this page if you need to. By default, all administrators and shop managers can access it, but if you have other employees that you need to grant access to, you can. So that being said, let's take a look at the form. Here at the top, you see I have a place to enter a coupon code. This site does have coupon codes enabled, so if your site does, you'll see this form field up here. And next under that, we have a yellow box where I can click to load an existing order. If I want to, I can search for orders by order number or customer name. I'll go over that in further detail here in a moment. Below that we have a place to choose customer or choose products and then below that we have a cart contents review and currently the cart is empty. And below that we have a place where I can arbitrarily add fees to the order. I can add as many as I want and set a fee label and the amount. I can choose to make that fee taxable if I need to if your site has taxes enabled. Below that we have billing and shipping which you may recognize is uh, somewhat similar to the regular WooCommerce checkout page. And below that we have a box to check to create an account which is useful if you're creating an order for a new customer and you want to generate a user account for them automatically. You check this box, enter a password, and when you place the order their account will be automatically created. And then we have an order review down here where it shows subtotal and total etc. and we'll go over all that good stuff here in just a moment. So to start out I'm going to choose an existing customer that I created for demonstration purposes, Susie Doe who doesn't exist by the way and I'm going to click assign to order and when I do that you'll see that the account information the address billing phone number email all of that has been added into the order from the user account which saves me a lot of time in filling it out myself and after that I want to add some products to this order so I'll use the search products box and the first thing I'm going to do is just add a Pink Floyd CD set because who doesn't like Pink Floyd and you'll see that gets added to the order and next to that I have a price and quantity along with title and image and I can change the price on this product if I want which is a really nice feature of this plugin so for example if I need to I can change the price to whatever and it will be reflected in the order review. And by the way, you have a security control to, to um, assign the right to change prices. So if you have a lot of employees that are be using this forum and you don't want them to be able to change prices, you can adjust that on a user-by-user -user basis if you want to. So now that I have changed the price to 149, I look at my order review and there it is in the order at 149. So that's a cool way to be able to adjust prices on the fly. And if I want to change the quantity, I can do that as well. And we look down here and see now I have two in the order. And I can also add as many products as I'd like. So in this case, I'm going to choose a shirt. And you'll see here, this is a variable product that has a, an attribute of size. And so each different variation shows up. And I can choose one of those and add it to the order and there we go. You may have noticed that there were two buttons there. Let me show you this again. If I choose the parent variation I see 
add to order and configure product. What this button does, the configure product button, is it loads the product in a pop-up so that I can configure product options and I'll show you that right now. So here we go. It loads the product page and I see my options here as I would on my website. The reason we have this is because many plugins for WooCommerce add custom fields to the product page. For example, component products or donation products, gift certificate products, bundled products, or maybe you're using our product add-on forms plugin from Ignite Woo they can add fields to this page and this way you're allowed to make all those selections and then add the items to the cart so just for sake of example I'm going to choose extra small click add to cart we'll see it is added to the cart and when I close this window the review updates and now I have this item in the cart let's take a look at this fees real quick I'm just going to arbitrarily call something a handling fee and add it for two dollars fifty and I'm going to click add fee and when I do it shows up in a table here and I can choose to add or remove this or rather remove this fee if I need to for example if I make a mistake or I meant to make it taxable and I didn't I can remove it and re-add it or if I want to add another fee I can do that as well and if we scroll down here we'll see that the fee has been added to the order as expected and if I remove it then when the order review refreshes the fee is gone so there we go going down to the shipping and billing you know how all this works you can add whatever you want into this and then we have the order review where you see the typical shipping options and payment options. Let's take a look at these shipping options real quick. This site has Ignite Woo's UPS Shipping Pro enabled and as a result I see shipping options from that plugin. So you can use this plugin with any shipping modules you have available for WooCommerce and they will show up and allow you to choose one of those options as the shipping method. We also have a neat little feature that's part of the phone orders and manual orders plugin a custom shipping cost so for example if I want to add a shipping cost to this order I can do that you can see that there's already a cost here of 1250 which comes from a previous demo session that I did a little bit earlier but for sake of example I'm going to set the cost to 750 the page will refresh the cart price or the shipping cost price to 750 and if I choose that you'll notice that the order total changes to reflect that so that's a great way for you to arbitrarily set a shipping cost on the fly for any order that you want and let's move on to the payment gateways you'll see I have COD enabled PayPal and credit card in this case it's Stripe and it's in test mode and this is Ignite Woo Stripe plugin and I can take a credit card over the phone or in person if I want to. This will work these payment gateways um, any payment gateway that you have enabled in WooCommerce should in theory work. There may be a few that don't we haven't come across any yet but in theory they should all work or most of them should work. So Authorize.net, Stripe, etc. all the popular payment gateways will work. PayPal Pro and so on. So if you need to do that you can. And just for sake of example I'm going to choose cash on delivery. But you probably notice I have two other payment gateways that I didn't mention. One is called invoice payment and the other one is hold order. These are two payment gateways that are built into the phone order and manual order plugin and you can change these titles to whatever you want. Just for sake of example I put invoice payment and hold order as the titles but you can change those to whatever you want. So how do they work? and what do they do? Well the invoice payment gateway is a simple gateway that just lets you place the order without collecting money immediately so it'll place the order as usual and then you can invoice the customer or whatever you want to do to finish collecting payment and as you can see it will allow you to also optionally define payment information that can be sent to the customer with their invoice. You don't have to use that feature but I have it in here in the demo and um, hold order this goes back to the 
yellow box at the top where I can load an existing order. So the reason this is here is, say for example, I'm in the middle of taking an order and I've got to stop what I'm doing for some reason and I can't finish the order right now. But I don't want to lose all the work I've done adding these products and adjusting prices and adding fees and shipping costs and all of that. I want to save that for later. So what I can do is just choose the hold order gateway and click to place this order on hold and it will put the order in the database and you'll be able to view that in your WooCommerce admin area in the typical orders section and then later I can reload that order and continue it and I'll show you how that works so I'll just click place order and I'll get taken to the order receive page I see that my order is one number is 141 and there are my items and all the costs associated with the order and the total and I can save that I mean it's already saved and I can go back and um, load that and so I'll just go back to the order page and here I just want to reload this order and I can do it by order number or I can do it by customer number if I want and here's the order and I'll just show you the search by customer. If I search by customer name or company name, it pulls up all the orders from this person and I can choose the correct one and click load order. There's a checkbox here to load and overwrite. What this does is if I check this box, it's going to load this order and then when I place the order by clicking the button down here to place the order, it'll overwrite this order number 141 entirely so this is what I want to do if I'm reloading a held order and um, it's also useful for scenarios where for example maybe your customer calls and says hey remember that order I placed last week for those 25 items well I want to place that same order again except for I want to change a few things and so you can quickly just load that old order and then either overwrite it or not and use it as a template to create a new order. So you can load any existing order, overwrite it, or use it as a, a template or a model for a new order. And you'll see when I clicked load order, the order loaded, I have Susie as a customer defined. I have these items back in my card again and etc etc maybe I want to change something I don't want two in this order now I only want one uh, I can do whatever I want to the order just like usual I can go back down to the order review again and now I want to place it completely so I'm just going to choose cash on delivery so I don't have to enter any credit card info or anything in this demo and when I place the order I get taken to the thank you page and here we go and you'll notice down here at the bottom the plugin puts in this little footer where you can click to view this order in the admin area which is the standard WooCommerce orders area or I can go back to the page to view the order or add a new order again and when I click that button to go to the admin area you can see here here's the order details just like you would see any other order on the site so that's about it for this demo I hope you like it uh, if you have any questions about it you can call us toll free between 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. Central Time at 888-434-8388 here in the USA or you can use the contact form on our website at ignitewoo.com to get in touch with us so that's it thanks for watching okay.